We now want to welcome Florida Congressman Michael Waltz to discuss the nationwide unrest over the death of George Floyd. Hi, Congressman. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much. So you're a, an Afghan war vet yourself, a former National Guard colonel. Uh, you've experienced with these type of situations that we're seeing all across the country. Uh, we've seen a number of states deploy members of the National Guard. Can you detail the significance of that move? Well, thank you. I'm actually still serving in the National Guard as a colonel. Uh, just hit 24 years. Uh, and you know what is so significant about the Guard is really threefold. Number one, they work for the governors. Uh, in our Constitution, they have arrest authority, uh, which is incredibly important in their support to law enforcement. They also often train for these types of missions, whether they are hurricanes, wildfires, natural disasters, support to major events or civil disturbances, and in this case, riots, uh, we train for this. But the most important thing is that we come from the communities and uh, we have day jobs that are actually in those communities. We live in these communities. We know the civic leaders. Uh, and that's incredibly important uh, as we move into these communities to restore law and order. Well, I want to discuss the president's handling uh, of these unfolding events. The White House press secretary is saying that an address by the president isn't going to stop Antifa, uh, who he's largely blamed for inciting a lot of these riots that we've seen. Uh, do you think the nation would have benefited from hearing from the president over the weekend as all of this chaos unfolded? Well, I was there with the president during the SpaceX launch on Saturday, uh, and he did address this, and he made it very clear that what happened to George Floyd by all accounts seems to, uh, was horrific. It was an abuse of, of power, uh, an abuse of uh, police regulations. They should have been fired. Now they've been charged with murder, uh, or he has been charged with murder, and this, uh, the system should be allowed to play out. But he was also very clear that peaceful protests, people seeking change, uh, have now been hijacked by radical elements. I do see Antifa, behind much of this. I was just in downtown DC. That was my church, St. John's Church that was burned last night. And there are anarchic symbols and all kinds of other uh, other graffiti painted everywhere that is clearly Antifa. And what I'm calling on, what I'm calling on the federal government to do is to treat this organization like we treat organized crime, like we treat terrorist organizations, and begin dismantling their leadership, their finances, their communications, uh, and really go after them in a very meaningful way because uh, there is no place for this type of rioting, looting, uh, and disruption in our society, especially right in the wake of COVID. Right, and then uh, finally, Congressman, the, the president held a call with governors today and directed them uh, to, quote, dominate the streets. Those were his words. Now, do you think that's the type of approach that's going to be effective in clamping down a lot of this violence, a lot of this looting and vandalism that we've seen? I think in the short term, yes. Uh, the Every American, every constituent that I'm talking to has said enough. You know, these poor businesses are trying to recover in the wake of a global pandemic that was released on us by uh, by a Chinese cover up. Uh, and just as they're coming out of it, just as our states are opening, uh, we have punks, looters, vandals hijacking, which which uh, should be peaceful protests and damaging innocent communities, innocent business owners and that people that are that are trying to get their jobs back and their economies back. So in the short term, absolutely, we need to see a firm stand against this kind of lawlessness. And then once we've reestablished that, there can be space and room to have the type of civic engagement, community engagement we need to address these types of systemic incidences that underprivileged in the African-American community uh, is, is so, I think, rightly upset about. But we can't get to those conversations when literally our communities are on fire and are burning and being attacked every single night. So it is time to reestablish law and order so we can have those more meaningful conversations. Yeah. All right. Congressman Michael Waltz of Florida speaking with us today about the ongoing unrest and nationwide. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Want to see more videos like this? 
Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.